What's going on today, Tranus lovers? Uh, a friend of mine has asked me a question on how to set up a uh, curve on a gimbal. Uh, this is really, really simple, so we're just going to jump into this and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Uh, this is, you're not going to believe how easy this is. So we're just going to, first we're going to jump in here and we're going to go to curves. Page over to curves. And I've already made a curve for this one, so I'm going to curve, I put it on curve one. So we're going to come in here, and as you can see right now, my my curve is 38, 38, 70. Now my gimbal doesn't go up. If I push the switch all the way up, it won't go up. And there's the center. It only goes down. Mine only goes down, and I can move it as slow as I want or as fast as I want, as you can see. And it will go all the way down. Um, so the deal here is you want to use a three-point curve. So you want to come down here. I got a little bit of light there. Uh, three-point curve. Because uh, this is going to be my up, this is going to be my center, and this is going to be my down. So let me explain what I'm saying to you about that. So the first thing you want to do is come over here and slide your slider all the way up. Now you can do this on a switch, you can do this on a pot knob, or you can do it on all three. All three of these can control that gimbal if you want. That's, that's what's so great about the Tyrannus. So let's just get it over here. Okay, so this is going to be my up, so we're going to hit enter. Now, since my, I don't want mine to go up, but if I did want it to go up, all I would do is, as I would start hitting this button, and it will go up for me. And I can stop it anywhere I want. I can make it stop right there, and that would be, my curve would be 23, 38, 70, or I can make it go even higher. Uh, but as you can see, I'd be looking at the bottom of my gimbal plate if I put mine up that high. Uh, so I, I don't want mine to go up. I just want it to be in the middle, so I'm going to bring it back down to 38 where I had it. Okay, I'm done with that one. So now I want to slide the slider in the middle. And I want to go up one. And I want to hit enter. So now if your gimbal's not quite in the middle, uh, as you can see, I can find the middle anywhere I want. Or so it's pointing straight out at, out at me. Uh, so as you can see, I did that. So I had that set on 38 too. See, all I'm doing is pushing the buttons in. And it's actually finding the... Uh, it's actually finding the curve for me. So I know I don't want it to go up anymore, but it can if I want it to. And right now I do have it set right in the center. So we're done with that one. So uh, the last one will be all the way down. So pull your slider all the way down. Okay. And then we're going to go up here. And we're going to click on enter. So now as you can see, I can, I can make it go down even further. For some reason I got a glitch there if I go down too far. I can make it, I, that could be my curve right there. I can make it stop right there. Or I can take it just a little bit further. Uh, 69's not, it's, that's pretty much straight down. 70's straight down, so that's what I had it set on. So as you can see, I'm done. Uh, the curve is done. So when I put it back in the middle, I have, I'm straight in the middle. If I wanted to, to go up, I could have, I could have made it go up by that one right there. And I can make it go down. So as you can see, my curve is now done. Uh, if you want to, if you have a three-axis gimbal, uh, you're going to make a curve uh, for the center, left and right. All I did was make a curve for center, up and down, and that's why I put it on a three-point curve, not a five-point or six-point curve. That's too much. You'll get in there, and, and it, it, the, the curve will be all wacky all through here, and you don't want that. The three-point curve works perfect because you got it up, center, down, center, left, and right. So a three-point curve works perfect for a gimbal, uh, no matter what gimbal that is. So as you can see, that's it. I got three minutes and 52 seconds into this and the curve is made. So all I have to do now is exit out of here and put that curve into my mixes. And here's my mix. Come down to channel seven. Well, we got a little bit of light problem there. There's channel seven right there. I'm gonna edit this real quick. Uh, so you can see I have it, the name is Gimbal. Uh, the source is the right hand slider, weights 100. I come down and I made a custom curve, a curve 2, that's the curve that we made. Come over here, hit add, and I'm done. So as you can just see, not only did I make the curve, the curve is now in my mixes and it's in the radio and it's working perfect. And we got 4 minutes and 39 seconds into it and, and the curve works perfect. Uh, you're going to have to make two mixes for a uh, 3 axis gimbal if you want it to go left and right. So. You're going to do exactly the same thing that we did just for the up and down. Uh, you're just going to make it go left and right. Uh, that's the only difference in this, and uh, that's how quick that was. 
Uh, just remember when you're in here doing this, uh, you can set this up to a slider, you can set it up to a switch, you can set it up to a pot knob, or you can set it up to all three of these, and all three of these will work. If I wanted to switch that up right here, I can say if I had it all the way back, it would go up. If I pulled it down Timer, to the center, it would go to the center. And if I pulled it all the way down, it would go straight down. Uh, that's just, reset. you can do anything you want. I like it on the slider because it's right here on my thumb and my finger right here, and I can control it nice and slow. Uh, it works real well on the slider. Uh, you could put your 3-axis uh, gimbal on the other slider up here, say center, right, left. Uh, that's how easy this is. Uh, so that's it. We got a whole five minutes right at six minutes into this video and it's completely done. So just remember when you're in here playing with this Tyrannus, uh, whatever you think of, uh, this radio can pretty much do it. It's, it's that good of a radio. So uh, uh, there you go. Have a good one, guys.